Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're reviewing the Key West Poker Chips. This is a set I reviewed years ago. Look at this. Key West Resort and Casino. What? Las Vegas, Nevada? There's no such place. That would be like saying London, Ohio. All right, let's see. London, Ohio. What can I say? I guess, you know, it's like, I guess I, the Key West Las Vegas is fine. I like what that captures. Key West, Florida, mixed with a little casino action in paradise. I get it, okay? So looking at these objectively here, we have some interesting materials. This is actually a compression molded clay chip. And if you look at the edges, you'll notice there are little sparkly things, just like my son's little like glitter crayons, but they're not crayons and it's not glitter, it's brass for weight, so they're perfectly weighted. But you know what I'm saying, they're interesting, good looking chips, real compression molded clay with a beautiful texture on the face. All right, so I was reading on the forum, pokerchipforum.com, and people are saying you shouldn't soak classic poker chips in solvents in an ultrasonicator for long periods of time. And I'm just thinking, yeah, well, I think we're going to have to explore that, aren't we? We're going to take a Paulson chip and a Key West classic poker chip. We might just accidentally drop them in an ultrasonicator and accidentally put some TSP substitute cleaner in there and just accidentally leave it on for a half an hour. I mean, really, what's the worst thing that could happen? All right, let's see how we did. Put my little glove on right here. We have a little paper towel. It's looking very green. I don't remember there being that much green dirt on these. Oh, let's see. First, we have a Key West chip, which seems to have lost its texture around the edges. And then we have a very clean looking Paulson chip. So let's dry these off and see how they look. I always look for weaknesses in poker chips, and sometimes it's ridiculously far reaching. Like, with my Milanos, I left them out in the sun for like a week to get it to bleach out like that. These, obviously, any normal person is not gonna soak these in solvents, okay? So if you wanna know what happens, this is what happens, don't do it. Like I said before, this is something I'm just demonstrating, okay? So it's sensitive to solvents. If you need to clean it, you can dip them in something, wipe them down, it's okay. You saw all the dirt come off of this in the first five seconds. You don't need to soak it in an ultrasonicator in that TSP substitute cleaner, whatever that stuff was, for half an hour, okay? Just remember, use some common sense when you're cleaning your chips. I think it even had a bad effect on the pulse in here. It looks like there might be a little bit more wear on this. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, I wouldn't even soak pulses for half an hour. So just so you can see the results, don't do it. It's just, I make a checklist of everything they say not to do. Not to do this, don't, don't do that. And I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna do it, sign me up. And before we leave the subject of materials, sometimes these things can have spinners. Uh, it's not very common, see right here. Because it is a pretty hard clay, if this inlay, and it is a true inlay, rises at all, or if there's any sort of warpage because of anything leaving them out in the heat, you can get these kind of minor spinners. As far as flatness goes, let me demonstrate right here. They're not perfect always, but they're pretty close to perfect. By way of comparison, let me roll in some Monte Carlo poker chips. I bought these on Apache poker chip and the edges on these Monte Carlos are really nice. I'm gonna to have to remake this video as well. Anyway, speaking of that, little sneak preview. Um, looking at how flat these are, can you see not what I would really call flat? And just to be fair here, let's make these the same size stacks here. Just some random chips, well, random, not so random. You can see that's pretty par for the course. That's actually okay for a metal ABS chip. And then we have the classic poker chips. And by comparison, very, very, very flat compared to the ABS chips. 
Wow, gosh, I love these chips, just playing with them. So the materials are amazing. I really love the materials. Even the spinners aren't as bad as like some other chips that I've explored. So looking at the design, they have some interesting things. I really like the option of blue and white ones. It seems like every year I go back and forth. I'm like, oh, I like the whites. Oh, I like the blues. So I'm glad they give us a selection there. They have some low denominations. Beautiful. Five cent, 25 cent. 25 cents probably realistically the lowest I would go. And then they give you the $20. Look at this lovely warm tropical greens. I really like these chips. The 100 I really like as well. Um, the colors seem very reasonable for what you're getting. The design with the palm trees, the fonts they use, easy to read red denominations. I'm really struggling to think of anything that could be improved here. They have nice square edges on the chips. So you, if you're interested in tricks or standing things up on edge or building a massive, a massive platform or something, these would do well as well. The only other competition that I see for these would be the Monaco. And we're talking stock poker chips. Yes, you can get customized Matsui or customized, you know, chips here or there. Or you can find used casino chips. But as far as current production, consumer grade poker chips, these are really the top of my list. If you can think of something that I'm missing, let me know. But for me, if you're just going to cut loose and do the best you can, these are great, great options. Oh my gosh, these are still so sharp. Still so sharp. Lovely. And the Key West. Oh my gosh, these shuffle like a dream. I love the texture of these things, the way that they mesh together. All right, well, sound test real quick. Um, the classic poker chips are pretty bright. Again, Monaco also compression molded clay premium chip made in the Paulson factory. These are made in the classic poker chip factory. And that's really the sound comparison. I know I like to go to extremes to destroy chips, whether it be a blender or just soaking things in acid. But make no mistake, these are my favorite poker chips on the planet. I can't think of anything I would rather have than a set of these Key West Resort and Casino poker chips. The way they feel, the texture. I love the weight, the true inlay, the colors, how they make me feel, the font, the X Factor. They have so much character. I love them. So highly recommended. If you can afford some of these, definitely go get some Key West poker chips. Well, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy. Visit our sponsor, PokerChipForum.com. Lots of good information on there. They have a poker chip design tool if you're interested in custom classic poker chips, which I think every real poker chip aficionado does at some point in their hosting career. I haven't done it yet. It's on my to-do list. So PokerChipForum.com. I'm on here almost every single day. And if you want to support this channel, you can go down to the links below. I have an Amazon shop where you can purchase some cards or something. I make some proceeds from everything that sells. So thank you so much for watching.